Well, I don't see the uh, the FDA changing in a hurry. So that's not where the innovation is going to come from. As much as they say they'd like to speed the process up, it's still a few hundred million dollars per drug at a minimum because of all of the regulations, which are, of course, in place for good reason. There have been some terrible historical events where a drug has killed people. We don't want that to ever happen again. Um, but at the other end of the spectrum, we have 100,000 people dying every day from age-related diseases that I think could be tackled if we had uh, better ways of of getting drugs on the market that were more efficient. And by more efficient, I mean less costly. It's so expensive to, to make a drug. Um, that's the problem. And and sometimes people say, well, what, Dave, why don't you just stick to your lab? Why do you have to start these companies? Well, that would be great if I could get $500 million in my lab and run a clinical trial, but I, I just can't um, and, and, and get a drug on the market. So I have, if I'm going to make drugs, I have to go out of the academic circuit. Um, but I think we, we now live in an era where we are able to take our health into our own hands and see what works for us and what doesn't, both as um, individuals buying products that are, that are legal and available online um, or in shops. Of course, that's nutraceutical area. Um, there are some cosmetics that are active as well. Uh, and then when you get into pharmaceuticals or regulated molecules, you can work with your doctor such as it's, it's becoming more standard to ask your doctor for, for metformin before you have type 2 diabetes. And those two models will, will continue to play out. But the biggest innovation is going to be, at least until the FDA declares aging a, a, a true disease, which hopefully will happen in the next five to 10 years, um, where the innovation is going to come is that uh, people can uh, look at what works for them. And so when the tra traditional medical establishment says, um, Oh, we have to wait till it's proven in a clinical trial. Um, I would push back and I would say, nothing is proven in biology. And until you take it, we don't know what's going to happen. And all drugs are unsafe, in fact. Um, and while it may be safe in a thousand people, there's going to be one, and it could be you that reacts badly. Um, and so it's all about individual personalized medicine at this point. Uh, but to do that, you need to measure things and be very careful about what you choose to put into your body. Um, and who's supervising you. And my approach has been, and I think this is the one that is becoming more popular, um, is to only change one thing at a time uh, and then and then take a reading and see what happens to your body. Do things get worse? Do they get better? Is your liver okay? Are your kidneys functioning okay? Um, is that product from that company okay? And if it is, keep taking that and try something else. And that's why my regime that I have, um, you know, it wasn't just made up yesterday, it's taken over a decade to get to this point, even with the particular brands that I take. Um, you know, it's it's not perfect, but it is all we have right now. We have to work within the law and, and technology. But I'm, I'm not one of these people that says, I'm going to wait uh, another 20 years till it's proven, because uh, first of all, there are going to be a lot of people who die tomorrow. Uh, second of all, I'm, I'm probably going to be uh, you know, fairly sick at that point. My father will be dead for sure if we don't do something. And it's it's like, um, you know, people say, oh, I don't know what's going to happen if I take supplement X, okay? Never mind the fact that it's already been taken by 100,000 people for the last five years, that it's been clinical trials, it's been in animals for years. You know, there are still some people that say, I need, you know, proof. Um, but let's let's face it, if you if you wait for that, proof it's going to be too late for most people and so i i think just choosing molecules and vendors of very high quality and seeing what happens you can escalate the dose carefully that's what's done in clinical trials i think that's the way to go um and that's that's far better than taking a handful of pills and never measuring anything you could really be doing yourself some harm but i would say uh, that's important is first of all i'm not a physician i don't recommend anything but you do want to tell your physician that you've taken these molecules so that they can make sure that if anything bad happens, they know what to do about it.